Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet, and we are here in Rocky Lake, Colorado. It's been a little while since I've been here. I think White Suckers was the last time I was here, and they have added some new species since that time, so I have come back after a long hiatus to see just how to catch the Golden Colorado Trout. That's a new species that's been added. Now they've changed a few other things, but for the most part, these guys have been keeping it the same. There's been, I believe they changed this with pumpkin seeds, but I cannot remember absolutely. But Golden Colorado Trout, this is the guy right here that we're going to be taking a look at. Now, that's not going to be the only thing I'm going to be doing. I'm going to basically just be fishing, see what the heck I can catch. And I found a really good spot for them, but this spot you can catch a lot of other things here too. You can get cutthroat trout, and you can also get rainbow trout here. But these guys hang out here a lot in this particular spot. And there are other spots that I have located too that have these guys, but this is the best. And these guys go for a lot of different kinds of baits. As you can see, they go for flies, mayflies, grasshoppers, whole long list. Um... As far as lures, we're not going to get into that right now. I'm going to be doing float fishing primarily because that's my favorite type of fishing. Uh, let's see here, guys. Sorry, I got a little out of breath there. Anyway, we have cloudy days most of the time here in this location. Now, we're going to be starting off in the morning. Now, I actually fi fished this place earlier, and I'm going to show you how well I had done but I haven't fished the evening yet, so that I'm going to be recording shortly here. But you're going to see what happened this morning. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at what I used. Not shop. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm using some level 21 or less rods. These are not powerful rods and things, guys. But I'm using primarily this... Wait a minute, let me get over here. The OmniFloat 14 foot by 10 inch and it just happens to have our night war night crawlers on it um as far as the real just like a prima 3500 pre 3000 something of the nature anything from level 8 to 21 will work just fine anything more than that's unnecessary uh, i prefer the number one hook that is a matter of your preference and on this one i happen to have the neural 14 foot by 10 inch the aspira mlr 3000 and I like to use floral line because these guys are skittish and they can be scared off by the heavier lines. But I, the number one hook again, that is what seems to work best for these guys. And I'm having the most success as far as leaders go with about 40 inches here, guys. So, sorry I got a little tongue tied there, but I think it's because I'm just so excited to do this. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, guys, we're here at Trout Galore, and I'm going to show you where you need to go. You need to basically walk all the way down the center and then go to the rightmost area. This is where I have the most luck, even though I can't seem to get over that rock. And I think that's as good as we're going to get. All right, guys, this is the area that we're going to be interested in, way back here against this wall. Now, I have caught the golden trout here, and I've caught them right here in front of this lily pad patch. But it seems like I catch most of them back there where I showed you in the beginning, 
right up against that rock facing. Now we're going to switch over here to my rod that I have the dragonflies on. I'm going to start with those and cast close to the rock facing. About 100, about 160 to about 140, somewhere in that range. You just kind of have to play around with a little bit. That's 158. That's actually not too bad. And if nothing happens, just kind of gradually draw it in and then watch the bobber. You see any movement? See, I'm seeing movement right now. I think. Yep, that's it. All right. Let's see what we got, guys. I think we got us a golden trout. I'm just by the way it's fighting. It's fighting like a trout, that's for sure. Not a bad size. Now you will probably get other species of trout and other species of fish, but this is the best place to get the golden trout for the most part during this time. There they are. <laughs> I don't believe it. I actually got a trophy right off the right off the front here, and broke my record. Not too bad. Not bad at all. Anyway, that's what they look like, guys. And for the morning, the best time is between about six and nine, with probably seven to nine being the prime time. Now, that's for trophies. I don't know about uniques. I've been told you can catch them at this time. I have not caught one yet, but I am planning to go to the evening in my next episode, and that will be my first time fishing in the evening, because it seems like I've always ended up with the mornings since I've been doing this. All right, let's make sure that it's sitting straight up and down. Something is going after it. There we go. Okay, now this is not a golden trout. This is something smaller. Yeah, this is something considerably smaller, but still not too bad, whatever it is. What have we got here? Oh, cool. A trophy black crappie. Not bad. 84. 1.190 pounds. That's pretty good, guys. Not what we're after, but we'll take it. We will take it. Alright. Trying to decide if I'm going to do it one more time or if I'm going to switch rods here because I have mayflies on my other rod. Let's try the mayflies for a minute. These guys like mayflies a lot. Let's give her a try. same thing that's a little bit on the far side I think but I did see something kinda of nibble at it so I'm gonna let it be for just a second come on I don't know what's there but it's messing with me doesn't quite want to take it. There it goes. Okay. Come on. We want to see what you look like. Okay, I don't it's not a trophy anything, but it might be a golden just by the way it's jumping around. Yeah, be careful that rock. I've had one get stuck there before. That's a little bit of a bug. Yep, there's a regular size golden. Just the common size, but they run about the same cash as a trophy black crappie. Okay, let's try her again. Let's see, let's pull it in just a little bit more here, I think. Let me see. I thought I saw something, though. Come on, don't don't be messing with me yep he's there 
Some, there we go. Something was interested. Come on, little fishy. Okay, sorry about my dogs, guys. Always want to wrestle when I'm recording. <laughs> if you've ever had two dachshunds, they love to play. Alright, let's see what we got here. Nope, we got us a young rainbow trout. See? You can catch all kinds of trout here. They won't all be young. They'll be common, and you might get a trophy every now and then. But just keep fishing. As you can see, we're doing very well at this time period, and this isn't even the big peak. I'm going to be interested to see the new peak here in the evening. Let's bring in a little bit more. Come on, fish. There we go. There we go. See, we didn't have to wait too long in between me dealing with these dogs. <laughs> Come on. I don't think don't think we got us a big one, but we might have another golden here. Don't you dare get off that hook. Yep, another golden 67 cash. He's kind of little, though, but I will take him. I will take him. I might switch back over to my... Yeah. I'm catching them, but I'm catching them kind of small. See if we can't land us another trophy here. That would be nice. That's way too far out. Seems like they're biting a little bit better at 146. Now I've caught a couple of blue. There we go. Okay, that's no bluegill. I caught a trophy bluegill right before that. And a couple small rainbows again. But I don't think that's what I've got this time. God bless it. I hate when they do that. Trout are real good at doing that. They love to just get off the hook. Nice. There we go. Told you. You needed to get a little bit closer. And they are definitely out for those dragonflies. Doesn't beat the last one, but I'll take it. That's for sure. All right. Give her another shot here, guys. They seem to be biting pretty good right now. Seems to be they're favoring just under 150 at this point. Yep. Definitely it's what it is, guys. Oh, God bless it. I hate they need to do that. Yeah, definitely got to know those darn trout. Come on. Okay, you're not a huge guy. Let's see what you look like, though. Uh, 71.777 pounds. I'll take him too. Alright, let's see if we can't get us another trophy here. See if we can't get us another trophy. You never know. Come on. Okay, I'm getting bites. But they're being kind of persnickety here. There we go. Finally. Come on, big guy. Come on. Come on, big guy. 
Well, he is kind of big, whatever he is. He's not a golden. He's a little stronger. I'm thinking he's a cutthroat. Yep. And maybe a big one, too. Oh, yeah. This is a cutthroat. No doubt. They don't let slack in the line and all that nonsense. They just fight. Ho, ho, ho. There you go, guys. Trophy cutthroat. Throw it. 2003. 2003. 203. 2.717 pounds. I got a little too excited. 2003 would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright. We've just about getting to the end of this peak, guys. Let's see what else we can get here for the last little bit of time we've got. I've actually caught quite a few things, but... I'm just kind of showing you the the trout for the most part. All right, these dragonflies are still still ringing true for me. There we go. Still ringing true. Come on, you little bugger. Come on. Yep, it's a golden. It's a gold. God bless, I wish they wouldn't do that. There we go. Now he's not bad for common. Not bad at all. Yeah, they go for a lot of different types of baits, guys. I think I might switch over to something different, give it a little bit of a try. They, I have known them to go for the for flies and for crickets for grasshoppers and those are a little bit cheaper but it, let's just give one of these a try and see how well they're going to do this time at least at this time in the morning now you might get something else you might get bluegill you might get crappie they go for it too but come on there we go that is not yep that's a golden you can see their pattern can't you Ugh. And you might lose a couple because of that I mean they are just good about letting it slack I hate when they do that oh there there you go, 71. Got that off the, off the grasshopper. Not too shabby. Let's give her another try and see what our luck is. We're getting close to the end of the peak here, guys. Yeah, I went back to the mayflies here. Not sure how well I'm going to do with it again, but I figured I'd give him another shot. Just switch my rods. I usually keep one rod where I test different baits and then one rod which I will use that holds the bait that's probably the favored. You got to experiment, you got to try different things, see what the fish are going for. Let the fish tell you what they want, guys. Let the fish tell you what they want. I was catching them off these earlier. This is a good distance. 147. Seems to work really well. Yep, there we go. This one was taking a little bit of time this time. Come on, fish. You're really dragging your fins.
Well, <laughs> looks like he got off the thing. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.